a fucking nightmare, you bitch! <laughs> So the question is, is the only reason why Infinite Warfare is going to be good is because of remastered COD 4? Honestly, I don't think so after what I've just seen. So let me just get right into what I've just seen. Call of Duty released this uh, video on their YouTube channel. It I It's called Black Sky. It's a mission in the story mode. Now, I have to give Infinity Ward props. They made this look so nice. <laughs> I mean, they made it look so goddamn nice. Plus, the guns don't sound like they're an Infinity Ward uh, creation. Because going back all the way to, like, MW, just Modern Warfare. They, all the guns from there on to Ghosts have sound exactly the same, and I'm glad that they're actually changing that. Now the guns sound more like mean and more like powerful than they did before. Before they sounded like you were shooting uh, like an airsoft gun, <laughs> like a little pew pew pew. But I'm so glad, and they have some really cool features in this game. I'm actually excited for this game to come out after watching that uh, little uh, gameplay. Like, it's pretty cool. I understand, like, the one thing I'm not excited for is the fact that it's in space. But, um, I bet you anything, most of it, you are on the ground fighting. There's probably going to be a couple missions here and there where you're actually like shooting down spaceships in space but other than that I believe you're going to be on the ground whether it's on Earth, Mars, Jupiter or even Uranus you're going to be on the ground and I have to say in this gameplay that they showed they didn't use a single freaking boost jump nothing like None of that was happening during this gameplay. It was pretty cool. I don't know if they're like trying to hide the fact that they have it or that they just didn't need it like uh, they do in Black Ops 3 or even Advanced Warfare. But Infinite Warfare, I believe, is going to be a good game. Uh, the fact that they have weapons that... Uh, can turn into different types of weapons for example in the gameplay a dude was using a sniper he quickly pushed down the scope to like the side of the gun and it turned into an LMG so I think that's really really cool the guns sound amazing and the game looks beautiful uh, I believe it's going to have a good story to it the multiplayer may be a little sketchy uh, when we talk about the being able to change your guns to like two different types of guns at once but other than that I think it's going to be a, a pretty good game now the fact that it comes with uh, COD 4 plus you get the new terminal map that's remade on moon on moon on the moon there we go uh, that's what, you could just get that map when you, uh, pre-order the game. You get the freaking Legacy Edition, you get both of them. You get the freaking new Terminal map, and you get COD 4, which is a plus. So, COD 4 looks great. Glad they really put that in there. Kind of makes up for the, uh, non-boots-on-the-ground, uh, quotations around that, uh, gameplay, but... In my opinion, Infinite Warfare is going to be great again. Just like Black Ops 3 was great. Story mode was great. Kind of confusing at the end. Uh, Infinite Warfare, multiplayer sucked ball. Or not Infinite Warfare. Uh, Advanced Warfare, the uh, 
multiplayer sucked the balls, but the campaign rocked. I loved it. I played the campaign, I think, twice, and I loved it so much just the fact that Kevin Spacey was acting in it. <clears throat> so, yeah, tell me in the description, or in. I keep saying that, god damn it! Tell me in the comments below if you guys believe that uh, Infinite Warfare is going to be great after the gameplay. I'll put the gameplay link in the description. So, tell me guys, uh, watch it, give me your honest opinions, alright, and I'll see you guys in my next video.